you've been touched by love, then you know exactly how I feel. Music makes me feel, you know, music makes me feel happy. I mean, that's what I love doing and um, that's my true passion. I've been, I've been loving music since I've been six years old. You turn a half chance in. Come to Shane, discovered me at a talent quest at a young age, about 10, 11. Even then, he totally blew me away. He loved my stuff. We pretty much got along straight away, started recording tracks. I got signed up with him to his management and his independent label, and ever since then, we've just been working together, working on new songs, and working towards getting a record deal with, like, Universal. Never once did beautiful record with a lot of great songs, a lot of great meanings, love in general, as we all know, in our relationships, in our lives, and a lot of songs that people can really relate to. Well, recording the album 10 Songs About Love it was, a, it was an amazing experience. I mean, working with Tom Nichols, who's worked with various artists, from Kylie Minogue to uh, all saints to, to everyone. Just put more swagger into yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. like imagine you're Sinatra singing this. Oh, all right, put a Marley record, which would be odd, but okay, <laughs> let's, let's try that. And working with Jay Newland, who's actually produced Maura Jones' two first records. I mean, it's just amazing. My one sound bite is I try to make records that I can stand to listen to myself. The cast of characters, I think, has has really done something to transform these songs into. <laughs> Something that I think nobody else is going to have. Well, recording the album, it was a very real record. Lots of live instruments, live musicians. I never thought I'd be in a position like that, so, you know, it was just amazing. The band was ready to go and they had the song down and I'd hop in the booth and, you know, we just go by takes and see how we go and see what we get out of it. So it was all pretty much live on the spot, live recording. And I think that's the way music's meant to be. He opens his mouth and it's it's huge. Even in rehearsal, you know, you hear a little bit of like, oh man. There's a, a unique kind of sound that we're getting. You know, I like the acoustic guitar with the kind of Rhodes and some clavinet and some of the drum loop. I think it's taking a very unique turn. I'm really impressed, man, you know, to be that young and come to the table and, uh, you know, be able to deliver take after take while we're tracking and stay focused. It was good, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah, he sounds great. You gotta, you gotta feel good, man. That's the only way to feel, man. I really enjoy it. It's a great experience. You don't, it's not like every day you, you get offered to go overseas to New York and record your album. You can't say no. <laughs> you feel as strong as Superman. You take the world across you. Yeah. Touched by Love, I think um, definitely one of my favourite songs on the record. It's a really, it's a really big song, a really big song. And I think the main thing that really, I think it's going to draw the people and, and, the, and the sort of audience is the, is the real feel-good sound it has to it. I mean, I still listen to the song today and, you know, you get that really good feeling. You feel, you feel really vibed after you listen to it. And, yeah, it's got a great meaning behind it. <laughs> I think uh, my family's really inspired me in my life. I think um, they've been the big support, they've been the backbone for me, and I think without my family, it wouldn't really be possible to be where I am today. I mean, it just really helped to have that support and that great drive behind you, it just helps you 110%. There's a halo burning bright. Uh, I think Halo's got a, a very deep meaning to it. I mean, it was actually written in, in memory of my mother that passed away last year. Take my hand and For me, that's a very personal song, and I can relate to it a lot, so yeah. I hope that people uh, respond to that the same way as I do. Feel me here. Ten Songs About Love, um, it is on the album and it is the title track of the album. It was actually written by Phil Goldston. That's what you want as a songwriter. You don't want everybody to say, oh, that's a Phil Goldston song. You want them to say, that's an Iran James song. That's what really matters, and that's when you really hit it, when they feel it, when the song and the artist and the record are all coming from the same place. It has to do with soul. And I don't care if he's 17 or 70, he can do it. Overall, I think it's, an, it's a great tune, very melodic, um, and it's got a great meaning behind it. I could write you ten songs about love. I think my music, everyone can find a, a liking to it, every age group. I think from teenagers my age to, to mothers, to grandparents, I, th I think there's something in my music for everyone, all ages. 
on this side of love. I could be out there being a laborer, I could be out there studying university, but you know, that wasn't meant to be. Here I'm being a musician, you know, and uh, I think I'll be a musician to the day I die. What was the question again? <laughs> I don't know where I was going. Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Punch this camera. We never laugh until. Hi, this is Ron James. And I'm going to go to the